and here we are with another extremely necessary tutorial if you're starting to use MetaTrader 5 and want to use it on your iPhone. In this video, I'll show you a complete tutorial on MetaTrader 5, how to use the application, how to add an account within it, but I remind you that to use it, you need to have an account with a broker. Personally, I have been using FP Markets for several years a multi-award winning and highly regulated broker that I absolutely recommend you use also because it offers extremely important client fund protection so you can sleep soundly at night. You'll find the link below in the description so you also have the possibility to use my support if you need it. So I'll show you directly from my iPhone how to use this application and all the features you might need. Before we get started with the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the upcoming content. But let's jump right into screen share. Here we are, sharing my screen directly from my iPhone. Let's go inside the MetaTrader 5 application. But let's remember that in order to access and start using it, we need to have our MetaTrader 5 account set up with a broker as i mentioned earlier i've been using fp markets for several years for various reasons so once we've already created our account with fp markets explicitly choosing the metatrader 5 platform then we'll be able to log in correctly we click on it and the first thing will be asked besides notifications and acceptances to open an account. In this case, they are telling us to open a demo account. We need to click cancel at the top right and will immediately be redirected to the page where we choose our broker, the one we just opened our account with. So let's look for FP markets. Okay. Please note, the difference between these four options here relates to the jurisdiction under which we chose to open our account. In this case, since I'm using the international jurisdiction, I need to select FP Markets LLC, which is the first result that appears. We click on it and uh, I'm correctly redirected to the login page let's enter the account number let's enter the password after entering the password click on save password so that every time we open the app we won't have to re-enter it we click on finish and are redirected to our account home page in this case we see that the values for balance equity and free margin are all zero this is because at the moment no deposits or withdrawals have been made on the real account I created as opposed to a demo account. To make a deposit, I won't do it directly from the MetaTrader 5 app, but rather directly from my account within the broker. This is true regardless of the type of broker you use whether it's FP Markets, 8CAP, or any other the deposit and withdrawal actions must always be carried out directly from your broker account, not from the applications you choose to use. So not from MetaTrader 5, not from MetaTrader 4, not from CTrader or TradingView. That said, at the top right, we have the option to open by clicking on the plus sign a position in this case on the instrument australian dollar versus canadian dollar we can choose our order type so whether to execute a market order set a buy limit a sell limit a buy stop a sell stop a buy stop limit below by clicking on the numbers, you can select the size of the trade you want to open. These are called lots. 
I made a dedicated video about pips and lots and how to calculate them. Then, for the stop loss and take profit levels, we can enter the level at which we want the trade to be closed either in stop loss, meaning at a loss, or in take profit, meaning at the profit when the price reaches that specific level. Below, we see two different prices simply because the difference between 0 0.8682 and 69.8 is the spread that every broker applies. So with any broker you use, you will always find this bid and ask price. The price at which if I wanted to enter a short position by clicking the sell by market button would be 88.68 here, five. If on the other hand, I wanted to go long to buy and therefore bet on a price increase, it would be 88.75. Let's close this page so we can open the trade. Let's go to the main page dedicated to quotes, where we see several different currency pairs that have been preset by MetaTrader 5 at this moment. Don't worry because you can modify, add or remove as many as you want and all those that might interest you. By clicking at the top right, we can select them. By clicking on the trash bin, we can delete them, for example. Let's go back. Instead, let's click at the top left to change the view we have. This is the more professional, more detailed view with even daily variations whereas this is the simpler view. Personally, I always use this one. By clicking at the top right, we can also select them all and delete them all. In this case, there will no longer be any symbols left in my watch list. By clicking on the search bar, I get different categories of various instruments that I can add, in this case, indices. Let's click cancel and go back. Or we can look at Forex currencies, the major and most well-known ones, or the minor ones, such as Forex minors, or by clicking again, the exotic pairs, or we can also check out metals like gold, silver, or commodities, or cryptocurrencies. The procedure is the same for all the instruments I want to add. On chart, we have the chart of the instrument we select. In this case, on quotes, they were all removed. And when there are none, MetaTrader 5 automatically inserts one by default. In this case, AUD USD. We click on chart, then on graph, and we go to view the chart of our instrument. At the top left, we have the reference time frame which ranges from moan to monthly. So moan means each candlestick represents one minute. Hone means each candlestick represents one hour. For example, in this case, we can see that each candlestick could represent a week and so on. We always need to give the, the, the chart time to load properly. In fact, we can see that it is loading. After that, we can easily move around the chart simply with our fingers, scrolling left or right, zooming in or out. On the trade tab, we have the ability to see, along with the option to open trades or view our balance and equity, the trades we currently have open and therefore get live updates on our balance and how our trades are performing. On the history tab, instead, we have the record of our closed trades as well as our orders. We also have the option, always at the top right, by clicking on the clock, to select the time frame we're interested in and the symbol for which we want to view our history. Instead, by clicking at the top left, we can change the order in which they appear to us then at the bottom right, we have the settings. We have the option by clicking on our name, surname and account number 
to add another account, we are redirected to the account page. By clicking on the plus sign at the top right, we can add another one. Going back below the new account, we have some sections dedicated to the MetaTrader 5 community, such as chat and messages, community traders, MQL5 and more. The OTP generator allows us to generate one-time passwords and in the interface section, we can change the language of our system. I can set it to Italian and click OK. Then, still in the settings page under the chart section, I can change the type of chart or add volumes, tick volumes, and ASK price lines so that I can immediately see how wide the spread is on the instrument I'm interested in. For example, let's enable it, go back and open the chart. If we lower the time frame, because in this case it's set to weekly, let's set it to five minutes. Here we have the two price lines, the bid price and the ask price. So we can see the difference which is the spread. We can also see it here, 17.2, 18.5. It's the same if we go to the chart, 17.2, 18.5. Let's go back to the settings page, back to our options for modifying the charts. We have the option to view stop loss and take profit levels, trading positions, trade history, and so on. We can also change the colors of our, uh, of our layout, of our system, whether we want a dark theme or a light theme. We can really change a lot of different things. Even the candles, the borders of the candles, it's very, very simple and intuitive. Let's go back. Let's return for a moment to the charts section because there are a few small features we can still look at. By Clicking on the arrow at the top, we have a sort of selector that shows us the day and time, as well as the price level where the price was at that specific moment. On our F, we have the option to add indicators. For example, if we click on main window, we can add the Bollinger Bands, of course, we need to set the parameters for this indicator. We click on finish and we will immediately see it on our chart. In this case, if I use the pointer, I can also use it as, um, let's say, a ruler to measure the price change from point A to point B. Let's close it. Let's go back to the indicators window again main window we can use hmm, a moving average instead then we click finish and we will have added another indicator to our chart to remove them we always click on the indicators function in fact we swipe from right to left and click on delete we do this for both go back and we can see that all of them have been removed. The last section to look at is the objects that we can insert into our chart. We can add text or objects such as lines or trend lines. Personally, I don't use these functions on MetaTrader 5, especially on the phone, because I do all my analysis using TradingView. I've also made a specific video tutorial there on how to use it and how to use it for this kind of analysis. For example, how to use the GAN fan, the Fibonacci retracement, Elliott waves, and so on. So personally, I don't recommend doing analysis directly on MetaTrader 5, but I suggest using TradingView. Then, still by clicking at the top right, we have the option to immediately see the bid and ask prices. And if we want, enter the market with a single click. It will ask us to activate this feature. We accept. And as soon as I now click on buy, it will automatically open a trade for me. 
In this case, it doesn't do it simply because my account balance is zero. Here too, I have the option to increase or decrease the lot size by clicking next to it, where we have the small circle with the two colors, red and blue. We have the option to open either a buy limit or if we move it, a sell limit with the ability below to set stop loss and take profit. Click on the X to delete it. That said, we have now covered practically all the main sections, all the useful sections for first of all, connecting your account, obviously making sure you have already made a deposit because you cannot do that from MetaTrader 5, but you have to do it from your account within the broker you chose to open your trading account. After that, you will need to go to the quote section and enter the instrument you want to trade. Once you have found and correctly added the instrument, for example, AUD, USDU will click on it so that you can immediately choose to make a trade, open a position right away, go to the chart, view statistics, or see further details. For example, if we click on trade, from here we can immediately enter the price at which we want our order to be opened, if it is a pending order, or by clicking on the order name and selecting market execution, it will open a position at the current price level, allowing us to set stop loss and take profit. Then by choosing either sell or buy, we will open our position. When the position is open, we will simply see it on this screen. We can click on it, then click on close and our position will be closed automatically. In the history section, instead, we have the record of our trades in chart. We have the charts of the instruments we are interested in. And in settings, we can change the graphical layout of our MetaTrader 5 application. Perfect. We have managed to see how to use MetaTrader 5 entirely from your iPhone. I remind you that to do this, you need uh, an account with a broker. I'll leave the direct link below to create a new account with FP Markets, the broker I've been using for several years and which is number one in Europe. Make sure you don't miss any of the upcoming contents. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like to support my work. See you in the next video.